those cases don't happen every day. Those are the kind of cases that you see, you know, in movies. Um, they, they, they don't happen every day. He is notorious up here in Buffalo. And now, unfortunately, um, he's becoming notorious down in South Florida. Tonight, the 7 Eyewitness News I team is digging into the reappearance of a notoriously deceptive doctor. We're talking about Dr. Anthony Pignataro, who was jailed twice for medical mishaps in the 90s and for poisoning his wife with arsenic. Good evening, everyone. Nearly two years ago, the I team revealed that Pignataro was selling medical products and services under a new name in West Seneca. This even though he didn't have a medical license. And as 7 Eyewitness News Chief Investigator Charlie Speck discovers, Pignataro appears to be back up to his old tricks, this time in Florida. He's one of Western New York's most colorful and perhaps notorious criminals. Former plastic surgeon pleaded guilty to criminally negligent homicide. The woman's heart stopped beating. Anthony Pignataro behind bars for attempting to poison his wife with arsenic. Most people thought Anthony Pignataro's time in the spotlight ended decades ago when he was sent to prison for poisoning his wife. But two years ago, several years after he was released, the 7 Eyewitness News I team caught him selling medical products and services online and out of this West Seneca apartment with no medical license under the name Tony Hote. Tony, can we have a second? We just want to ask you a few questions. Is this you right here? What? Just a minute of your time, please, here. We just, we just want to ask you a few questions. Why are you deceiving the public? This e-commerce thing that you're reporting on was, was simply an idea that came to me, and I hope it's not a crime. But Erie County DA John Flynn said otherwise and opened a criminal investigation into Pignataro. That's when he moved to Florida and now appears to be up to his old tricks once again. Miami TV station WSVN reported last month that Pignataro is advertising himself as an elder care specialist on eldercare.com, describing himself as a trustworthy senior caregiver in South Florida who has experience administering medication. Miami 7's Brian Enton confronted him. I wanted to ask you why you're advertising yourself on eldercare.com. Are you taking care of old people, sir? It doesn't say anything on your advertisement about your past in New York or losing your medical license or the poisoning of your wife. Is there anything you want to say? WSVN spotted Pignataro two more times, cruising around in the same car he had two years ago in western New York, this time apparently doing business in the Florida Sun, even though he again has no medical license and has since admitted that on his website. He is, like I said, diabolical. It does not surprise me at all. Erie County DA John Flynn says people living or vacationing in Florida should be aware of Pignataro. I just hope that he doesn't do anything crazy down in Florida because, believe me, he's capable of doing it. Flynn says Pignataro has served his time and does have a right to make a living. What he doesn't have a right to do is lie to the public. Uh, which is what he's doing. Flynn says Pignataro committed the crime of false advertising before he left Buffalo. But that's not enough to extradite him from Florida. And if he did come back to Buffalo, the statute of limitations have since expired. I'm just trying to anticipate his next move, you know, and, and, and what he potentially has the, the, the capability to do. So I, I'd be on the lookout for anything with this guy. Now, we did reach out to Pignataro for comment by phone to see if he wanted to give his side of the story he did not return our calls. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News.